Hello, my friend. I am so excited for this video because I haven't geeked out over makeup products in so long and my geeky heart was just craving to do a video like this. Today, we are breaking down the Sephora Give Me Some Lip gift set for 2022, but we're gonna get super geeky with it. So not only are you going to learn about the gift set, but you're also gonna learn about the individual formulas and what they are like. What is the base like? What are you gonna feel when you use them? I'm also gonna be doing swatches. We're gonna be talking value you so so much more very excited for this video hang tight we're getting into it right now i have not opened the sephora box yet i was waiting to open it with you because that's the fun part is hanging out with you playing with makeup and geeking out. I got some well sampley guys in here. I got the Huda Beauty, what is this? The Faux Filter Foundation. Got a little sample card of that. Also got a little sample card of Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Ooh, I forgot I got this with points. This is the JLo Beauty, that JLo Glow. It's like a little sample size of that. It's probably not a lot in there, but at least I get to try it. I've been wanting to try JLo Beauty. And then this here, I think, came with it as well. This is an Anessa Myricks Twin Flames Multi-Chrome. I have one of these. I'm not a fan of it, so I'm hoping I'll like this shade better. Maybe it was just the shade I chose. And then we have la -da 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 -da, the Sephora gift set. I specifically chose this gift set because I've always found the Give Me Some Lip lip set to be one of the best ones to try. I've been buying these gift sets forever. Depending on what you're looking to try, these sets can be an incredible value if you want to try out the formulas and shades that are in here without paying full price. But we're going to get into value in just a minute. Let me go ahead and pop this baby open. Oh, there's tape because of course there is. There we go. I got it. Here is what the gift set looks like inside. This costs $45 for the lip set, but we're going to find out whether this is actually worth the $125 value that they have printed on the box. You do get two full-size products from Rare Beauty and Charlotte Tilbury. You also get products from NARS, Too Faced. Uh, this one is Urban Decay, Give by Gwen Stefani and Pat McGrath. But let us go through these one by one and let us geek out. So we're going to start with the NARS because that was the first First one that was listed on the website. The full size of this is $26. It breaks down to about $153 per ounce. When you hear these per ounce things, it's going to blow your mind. Some of them get a lot more expensive than this. This mini size is a 65% of the full size. So you actually get quite a bit of product in here. The value of this sample is $16.83 when compared with the full size. The packaging on this is a very easy twist off you do get your fingerprints on there which isn't always fun no scent to it at all and what you're gonna feel on this at first is hydrogenated polyisobutane it's just a basic emollient but what's interesting about this particular emollient is that they actually use it to help sunscreens to last longer so theoretically this should help the lip gloss to stay on your lips longer I am gonna swatch this on my lips in just a second along with that there is all also, shea butter in this. Shea butter is a wonderful moisturizing ingredient for your lips. And since we have gotten into, especially in 2022, these skincare makeup hybrids, NARS has really tried to put some skincare in this as well. So you also may get effects from the following ingredients, including pomegranate extract, which is a skin soothing and antioxidant ingredient. Then we have rosemary leaf extract, which is also an antioxidant. It can also be an anti-inflammatory. So if your lips are really irritated, it may help with the inflammation there. We also has, have raspberry seed oil, which is also an antioxidant. Tocopherol, which is vitamin E, again, also an antioxidant. And it may help you protect your lips just a little bit from UVB rays. It just depends on how much is in here and how it mixes with the rest of the formula. I wouldn't count on it, but it's possible. There's also jojoba seed oil in here, which is a great moisturizer. And one of my favorite moisturizers, which 
which is sunflower seed oil. One of the reasons why I love sunflower seed oil so much is because it helps to repair the a damaged skin barrier. So with lips, that's really, really important. I don't, again, I don't know how much sunflower seed oil is in here and, you know, the quality of it and how it's interacting, but that's a benefit you could get from this lip gloss. Some things you might want to note that are not great in this are polyethylene, which we're going to see a lot. It's one of the most common plastics used in the world. I mention it because of this is what microbeads used to be made out of. So anytime we're introducing plastic into our waterways, it's not a good thing. And then also I wanted to mention we have carmine in here, which is made from crushed bugs. So if you're vegan, you want to stay away from this. I do like the way this lipstick looks with this look, but it's time to take it off. This is the NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Teddy Fluff. It is going bye bye That's really pretty. Okay, so it feels very oily on the skin. Definitely not sticky at all. There's maybe a tad bit of heaviness to it, but not a lot. It's mostly just extremely slippy. But I think that looks so pretty. I'm very happy with the way that that looks. I'm excited to play with this more. Next on our list is the Pat McGrath Lip Trance. It is right here. This is the Matte Lip Trance in Vendetta, which is a dark red. The full size of this is $39, which makes it $279 per ounce of product. The mini size is 30% of the entire full product, making this a value of a $11.72 compared to full size. So what you're going to feel on this is the isononal, I, there's so many no-nos in this, I'm not even sure how to no-no this. Isononanoate. <laughs> there's too many no-nos in there. You try it, you try it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very basic emollient, and they do say that this can help protect dry skin. So that's a good thing for the lips. The other thing in here that I wanted to note is kaolin, which is an oil-absorbing ingredient that we often see in face masks for oily skin. You know those uh, clay masks? That's where we typically see this. So that is going to help this to be a more matte formula, but at the same time, it could be drying on the lips. But what they do have to balance that out is squalane, which is a skin balancer. It's a great moisturizing ingredient. It mimics the sebum in your skin. So hopefully that helps to balance out the kaolin just a little bit. It's also a great occlusive. So any water that's in your skin, it will help the water to not evaporate outside of your skin. Did that make sense? Outside of your skin? I think so. <laughs> the only other ingredient I wanted to note is that plastic from earlier, that polyethylene is also in here. The packaging on the Pat McGrath is very cute. You've got the cute little lips here, and then you pull that off and just twist it up like a traditional lipstick. So let us go ahead and remove this nice comfy gloss and put on a matte lipstick. Ooh, that's pretty. No scent on it. That is freaking gorgeous. I had bought a matte trance before and I found it to be extremely dry. So I don't know if it was because it was open longer and that's why the formula maybe dried out on its own, but this is not uncomfortable. I thought it was gonna be more uncomfortable when I saw there was a matte trance in here, but it actually feels pretty good on the lips. My lips aren't sticking together at all. It feels pretty weightless to be honest. Since it's a lipstick, let's see if it kisses off. Well, I just put it on. So why don't we do this? Why don't I give it about two minutes? I'm gonna turn off the camera. We'll give it about two minutes and then we'll do the kiss test. So hang tight. One, two, three. All right, it's been about five minutes. So I just wanna make, wanted to make sure that it was set, that it was fair. And uh, yeah. <laughs> It does not dry down. <laughs> no, 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 no. But it is, honestly, it's very comfortable. And it's, it's relatively matte. It's got a little bit of a shine on it, but it's not like, it looks nice. It looks really nice. Let us move on to the first full-size product. This is the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm in Nearly Neutral, which is a soft neutral pink. And like I said, this is a full size. The value of this is $18 at $150 per ounce. A very tiny bit of a vanilla scent. 
but very, very tiny, almost like it's probably just the masking ingredients making it not smell bad, <laughs> that make it smell slightly good, but it's not strong in any way. At the top of this, we have that same emollient that we had at the top of the NARS, you know, the one that they use sometimes to make sunscreens last longer, so that's kind of cool. And there's another mix of emollients and occlusives and all that stuff, not that exciting in the base. Potential other benefits you might get from this are the sunflower seed oil, like we talked about before, absolutely love that, great skin healing ingredient. There's also gardenia fruit extract. This is a fragrance ingredient, but there may be some antioxidant benefits to that. There's also lotus flower extract that is skin soothing. It's also an antioxidant. And then a pygmy water lily extract, which is also an antioxidant. There are some fragrances in here called benzyl benzoate and benzyl salicate that have a strong allergen potential. So quite a few people are allergic to those ingredients. So keep that in mind. In the EU, those must be listed separate from the word fragrance because so many people are allergic to them. And then in addition to that, there's also fragrance in here. The packaging on this one, it is a little bit more difficult to turn. It has a click closure. So if you have fine motor difficulties where you can't grab, you may have a little bit of difficulty spitting this open. The doe foot applicator on this is very pointy, which I imagine will make it easier to get into the Cupid's bow area. So let us once again remove. And we can kind of see the removal process of the previous one. In hindsight, maybe I should have done this as part of the review of the previous one, but you know how hindsight works. I was a little worried that one was going to stain, but we're doing all right. Okay, here we go. Definitely this little point makes it easier to apply. And it bends really nicely to the lips. It's it's definitely very flexible when you apply it. This one is a little heavier than the NARS, a little more occlusive, a little thicker, but it's very comfortable, extremely slippy. This is one that I really feel like even more so than the NARS, that if your the wind flips and gets in your lips, it's really gonna stick in your lips. Even though it's not a sticky gloss in any way, it's very thick, so you're gonna get that that like whole hair stringing it across your face kind of problem that you might get in the wind if you have longer hair. But I like the shade, it's really pretty and it's, it is comfortable. It's just, you can definitely feel it's a little more thick than the NARS. Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Oh my goodness, have you ever tried this? <laughs> if you haven't, it is quite the experience. Full size of this is $29, making it $207 per ounce. The mini size is 36% of the full size, making this value at $10.45 for this product compared to the full size. What you're gonna feel most when you use this is mineral oil. That is the top ingredient in this product. Very, very slippy. If you are afraid of using mineral oil in your products because Clean Beauty has gotten to you, definitely recommend looking up professional websites on mineral oil. Mineral oil is so refined before it is put into products. Don't think about it like you're putting petrol or gasoline into your cosmetics. It's not the same thing. Another top ingredient in this is avocado oil. And if you have a latex allergy, you may be sensitive to avocado oil. I don't really understand the science behind it but I know it's a thing. But if you are not sensitive to avocado oil, it is a fantastic ingredient in both lip products and skincare. It's moisturizing, it's skin soothing, it has antioxidant power. It can really penetrate into the lips. It can really go down. It's a very small molecule. It can go down into the lips and really provide some moisture in your lips. So put that in your avocado toast and smoke it. <laughs> That's a sentence I never thought I would say. <laughs> There's also other moisturizing and occlusive ingredients in here like a hoba seed oil. There's soybean oil in here. Soybean oil actually might be an anti-inflammatory, so that would be good in a lip product, especially this one. I'll tell you in a second. There's also a peptide in here. It's palmitol tripeptide 1. They say that it might help collagen production, which is probably why they put it in here, but the research that, that has been done on that ingredient is usually part of the Matrixel 3000 
thousand formula, which is three different peptides all together. So I don't know how much that one peptide can boost collagen production on its own. I just don't know. Ingredients you want to be aware of if you're sensitive, fragrance is in here. Benzyl benzoate, which is the one we talked about in Rare Beauty that is an allergen for a lot of people. And then the hot pepper ep extract. <laughs> Capsicum frutescence resin. I, I probably butchered that. The job of this ingredient is to purposely irritate your lips. And as you're irritating your lips, blood flow goes to your lips and it helps your lips to look more plump. That's the science behind it. So again, we shall remove this comfy Rare Beauty lip gloss and put on something that will purposely burn my lips. Yay. The packaging on this is a traditional lip gloss packaging. Unscrewing it, there is a little bit of a clip closure, a good bit of clip closure there. So if you have trouble with that, just keep that in mind. And then the doe foot is a traditional doe foot applicator. The scent on this is very difficult to describe. It's plasticky, but it's also got like a spicy sweet scent. It kind of reminds me of 90s rollerball lip glosses, just a little bit but without any kind of like cherry or strawberry kind of scent or bubble gum, whatever your flavor was, if you had those back then. It's just, you can smell that there's a little bit of spiciness in it, but it doesn't smell like cinnamon. I don't know, <laughs> that's why I said it's really difficult to describe. So let's go ahead and apply. Let's do it. And I will tell you when it starts tingling. Now it is a very smooth application. The doe foot bends really nicely, so very easy to apply. It is a little bit thicker, but it's not super heavy. No stickiness at all. And right now my lips are absolutely fine. So let's take just a second and let's talk about what is on my eyes today while I'm waiting for it to start burning. I ran out of time to review the ColourPop palette from uh, the Hocus Pocus 2 collection that they had sent over. So I just want to give you just a very quick review while we're waiting for my lips to burn because, you know, let's do that. Making the most of our time, right? Uh, it is a very traditional ColourPop palette. It's, it works just as well. It's what you would expect from a ColourPop formula. Works very well. I'm very much enjoying it. Lips are starting to tingle right around the edges. I also used on my eyes today the Jelly Much Shadow in I Am Calm. That's what's on the inner corner of my eyes. If you're not sure how to use these, if you're having difficulty, Angelica Newquist made a wonderful, wonderful video back in 2019 where I had asked her, I was like, dude, help me. I don't know how to use these and you do such a nice job. So she made a tutorial. I'll link that down below if you're having trouble with your Jelly Much. Definitely watch Angie's tutorial. She did a fantastic job. All right, now we're getting a significant amount of tingling all around my lips except for like right here. <laughs> I think that the more your lips are irritated and I think my lips are irritated from removing all of the lip products, the more it's going to tingle and sting, the more compromised your skin barrier is. But for me, it is bearable. It's just a tingly, uncomfortable, almost like pinpricks, almost like your foot fell asleep, but it's not your foot, it's your lips. This is one of those products that I think it, it's either a big hit or a big miss for people. The scent lingers. If you don't like the scent, you're not going to like it. Uh, as far as the plumping effects, I feel like I can see the tiniest little bit of plumping effect when I use this really and genuinely, but I don't know if anybody else would notice but me. I don't think it's significant. So really, it's going to be all up to personal preference on this one. I personally don't mind it, but I don't go out of my way to purchase it. Now let us go on to the second full-size product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in Pillow Talk, which is a nude pink. The price of the full size of this particular product is $37, which makes it a whopping $308 per ounce. So that's going to add significantly to the value of this whole thing. The base of this is Neopental Glycol Dicaprylate, and that is a mineral oil substitute. And the reason why I think brands use this is because they know some people are freaked out by clean beauty myths about mineral oil, so they replace it with a more expensive ingredient, which is this one. It also helps with the matte finish of the product, which is something they're going for with this. There's also dimethicone in this, which is nice in a lip product because it can help fill fine lines, and also silica, which helps with that slip of the product and also that matte finish. Other potential benefits in this are the vitamin E, like we talked about in the NARS, that it is an anti 
antioxidant and also may provide some UVB protection, but I don't, I wouldn't count on it. And then there is safflower seed oil, which is different than sunflower seed oil, of course, but it is also a nourishing, moisturizing antioxidant ingredient. As far as things you might want to watch out for with this, we have polyethylene, which is that plastic we've been talking about, papaya fruit extract, which is sometimes used as a chemical exfoliator in skincare products, can be irritating to some people. I'm personally irritated by papain, which is part of the papaya somehow. I don't know the difference between papaya extract and papain, but papain really messes me up. Papaya extract, I'm fine. I don't, I don't know. So it may be skin sensitizing to some people. Some people may be irritated by it. There's also orchid extract in here, which is a fragrance and also may be skin sensitizing. And then there's that carmine in here. So if you're vegan, there's crushed bugs in here. You don't want to use it. All right. It is time to remove the lip plumper. And let us add on the Charlotte Tilbury. I definitely see some irritation. You see how red my lips are? That's from the Too Faced and probably also from wiping my lips multiple times. Look at that. It's the same second color as my irritated lips. <laughs> they should rename this Jen's Irritated Lips instead of Pillow Dog. It's extremely comfortable really, really comfortable. Feels really smooth on the lips. Scent on it is definitely a vanilla scent. Creamy vanilla smells really, really nice. Oh, I forgot to mention about the packaging. So packaging, you have to really, really pull. I mean, you can grip it like this and pull, which is probably going to be easier, but you do have to have a significant grip to open this. I do love the metallic packaging. I think it looks luxe and pretty. It's also got a little bit of weight to it, which also adds up the luxe factor. Like with the Pat McGrath, I wanna give this just about a minute or two to set, and then we're gonna do the kiss test to see if it transfers. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. So let us kiss. Mwah. And we are not transfer proof at all, but it is very comfortable. And I think that a lot of matte lipstick formulas are going that route where they do transfer, but they're a lot more comfortable than they used to be. That's what we're dealing with here. That's what we're dealing with with the Pat McGrath. I personally really like Charlotte Tilbury's matte formula. It's, it feels good. It's pretty. I definitely see that filling in of the fine lines. At least I think I do. Maybe it's just power of suggestion, but I think I see that filling in of the fine lines. Uh, it's just a really, really nice formula. The question is about this is whether you like this shade or not, whether this is going to be your jam. Going back over to sample sizes, we have the Urban Decay Vice Hydrating Lipstick in Back Talk, which is a mauve nude pink. Full size of this is $19, which makes it $173 per ounce. The mini size is only 27% of a full size. This is the smallest sample in relative to the full size. This is only a $5.13 value compared to that full size. However, the first ingredient in the Pat McGrath is also the first ingredient in this. It's that isononal, isononononononononononoate. <laughs> We're just going to call it that. It is good for protecting dry skin. And we've got some other emollients and texture ingredients. There's one that's kind of like jojoba oil, but not jojoba oil. There's that silica that's in here that may help with, it's the same that was in the Charlotte Tilbury, that may have, uh, make it help it be more matte. Also helps with the slip of it. There's also fennel trimethicone, which might add just a little bit of gloss to it. We'll have to see. I've never used this formula before. And it also helps with ingredients. Like if there's ingredients in here that are traditionally stable, Sticky, that ingredient will help them not to be sticky. So that may be its purpose rather than to be to add gloss. They do have quite a few ingredients in here that are skin carry kinds of ingredients. Whether they actually do those things or not, it just depends on the formula, but this is what it might do. Sesame seed oil, which is very nourishing, really nice for dry skin. It also absorbs really quickly. Then that dimethicone to help fill in fine lines. We have that kaolin though in here that may cause a little bit of a drying effect for some people. That avocado oil that we talked about that's 
wonderful. The only thing about the avocado oil in this one is that it is way down on the ingredient list. So I don't know how many of the much of the benefits that you're going to get in that because like the Too Faced, it's way up at the top where it's way down in this. So there may not be enough to actually provide those good avocado oil benefits in here. But if you are sensitive to latex, you're sensitive to avocado oil, you might want to pass on this one. Once we get past the 1% mark as far as ingredients go, they can put them in any order. So these are the ingredients that are probably below that 1% mark that just have a little bit, but I want to mention them anyway, just in case they do provide a benefit. So there's like aloe in here, which of course is skin soothing. There's that tocopherol, that vitamin E, the sunflower seed oil that we talked about earlier that I love, but there's so little in it. I don't know if it's going to do anything. And then that rosemary extract that we talked about in the NARS that's a good antioxidant. And then the only other ingredient in here I wanted to mention is that polyethylene, which is the plastic. I'm very curious about this because I've never tried this formula and I'm that's one of the reasons actually why I wanted to buy this is because I didn't want to buy a full size of this, but I wanted to see what it was like. This wipe has seen better days. <laughs> Go ahead and take off the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, my lips are starting to feel it. Starting to feel it. Ooh, it feels really smooth. Where the Charlotte Tilbury, it felt like it was going to be a dry at first, but it wasn't. This one feels smooth off the jump. Ooh, this one's a little pinkier. This one's real pink compared to the other ones. It's cute though. It's a cute shade. It's so funny how formulas change over the years where there's no way these would have been this comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> three, four years ago. These would have been dry as hell and lasted forever. I, I can tell already this one is not going to be transfer proof no matter how long it sets. It's got almost a lip gloss kind of feel to it. It's very, very smooth, but it looks very matte. <laughs> Such a weird thing. I feel like this isn't a quite a matte lipstick. It's more of a satin lipstick. I don't typically typically wear pinks like this, uh, but I don't hate it. I think with the right look, this would will look really nice. It's just, you know, I don't know if I like it with this. You'll have to tell me what you think. As far as packaging, this one is much easier to open than the other ones that we talked about earlier. The scent on this, there's no scent, none at all. Let's do the kiss test just because but I know it's going to transfer. I mean, you can just feel the transfer. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to have a long lasting power because it may have the remnants once you kiss off or get rid of the top layer. Sometimes the color will stay really nicely. I'm actually very, very thankful I got to try this formula. It feels really great. I actually really like it a lot. Not, I think I might like a different shade a little bit better that maybe is a little more me, but very nice. We have made it to Give by Gwen Stefani. This is the Anaheim Shine Clean Performance Satin Lip in original recipe, which is the true red. Full size of this is $26, making it $260 per ounce. This is about 30%, so also relatively small uh, of the full size, which makes it $7.80 in value compared to that full size. Of all of the formulas, this is the least complex. They don't have all of the skin carry stuff in there. It's very, very basic lipstick formula. First ingredient is polyester polybutene, which is a binding, glossing, thickening ingredient. And then there's just a bunch of emollients and waxes and stuff. There's no, like, nothing. There's nothing else in here that's interesting or of note, which is, is odd because it's a brand new brand. You would think they would have put something in there, but it's very, very basic. The only thing I wanted to note in here that, is that there is fragrance slash parfum. Packaging easy to open, very easy to open. And wow, that is a red and that is teeny, teeny, tiny baby. So let us wipe off one more time. One more time. We got this. We got this. Last one. And then my wipe can retire. This one definitely has more of a drag to put it on. Yeah, it's definitely, it doesn't spread as easily. I'm also noticing the opacity isn't quite there compared to the other red. What was that? The Pat McGrath? It's definitely smooth though. Smooth, glossy, comfortable. Mushing my lips together, it feels kind of light, but when I just kind of chill, it feels a little bit heavier. Not super thick and heavy, but I can definitely feel it on my lips. Once I got it built up a little bit, it's definitely opaque. It feels comfortable on the lips, but I can definitely feel I have lipstick on. Scent on this, 
no scent at all. For me, from first impression, I'm thankful that I got to try this formula. I love Gwen Stefani. Uh, it, it's If you like Gwen Stefani and you love this color, you love her signature red, then maybe this is something that you want to look into. But I don't think it seems like it's anything special, anything beyond what you could get at the drugstore. In conclusion, let's go ahead and break this down. I want to swatch some of these next to each other just so you can see like the reds next to each other, the lipsticks next to each other. So this is the Pat McGrath, and then this is the Gwen Stefani. So you can see it's a significantly different red. And also the Pat McGrath is more matte, the Gwen Stefani is glossy. So this is the Urban Decay, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Very different tones there. I love that they did that. that they made sure that they had different tones. And then we'll swatch the lip glosses. So here's the NARS. We'll leave that chunky on the end. And the Rare Beauty. Do I really need to swatch the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme? Probably not, it's just a clear gloss, but we'll do it anyway. Very exciting, thrilling. <laughs> For your $45, this is what you are getting. Total value that I calculated was $106.93. They say it is worth $125. Maybe I calculated something wrong. I don't think I've ever calculated it wrong before, though. Maybe they're just rounding up. That was really weird to me that it calculated differently. But it's possible that I made a mistake somewhere. I'm not perfect. I like the math, but I'm not perfect. The two full-size products, the Charlotte Tilbury and the Rare Beauty, add up to $55. So at a $45 cost, you've already gone $10 over value if those are products that you really wanted, the Rare Beauty and the Charlotte Tilbury. Like, let's say you know you're never going to wear the reds, but you know you'll wear everything else, you're still getting your money's worth. If you only love the reds, of course, you're not going to get your value on that. We've got about 12 bucks for the Pat McGrath and about 8 bucks for the Gwen Stefani, so you're going to have to want something else to make this worth it. Overall, I think these Sephora kits are so incredibly fun. I think they're a great way for people to try a bunch of different Sephora brands without spending the Sephora money. And I know for me, it takes me a while to go through a lipstick. I, because of my job, rarely go through a full-size lipstick, so I really like these kits because it gives me that opportunity to have a basis of comparison for you. But if I didn't have a YouTube channel, this is a product that I would want to know more about, and that's why I chose it to do this review. So I hope that you found this incredibly helpful. I loved getting geeky with you today and doing a traditional Gen Love deep dive into these products. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and that tells YouTube to share it with other people. If you did not know, I am actually not home right now. I am currently on a boat with my mother. So this is just a friendly reminder, if you're watching this in real time, that we are not having a What's Up in Makeup, which is my makeup news show this weekend or next weekend because I will be away. But we will have live chat next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend if you would like to join us for that. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I hope, again, I really hope you loved this video. If you loved it so much that you want to watch another video, YouTube will be recommending a couple videos for you right over here to watch, including one I picked out for you specially to watch. It's the one on the bottom. But if you do need to go, it is no problem at all. Thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did and mad love to you. And I will see you in a video very, very soon.